World War III. Hot and cold, lasted from... Hold. Female. Rover pack has her. 125 yards. Solo, waiting to move in. 75 yards. Absolutely no idea how I've managed to keep you alive so long. And I wouldn't bother going down in there unless your taste has changed radically. They left an ugly mess. I said they left a mess. I heard you. Oh, pearls before swine. All my directives go completely unregarded. Sometimes you're just as ignorant as any other common rover. One indication of a female at all is caution to the wind. The eyes glaze, the glands swell, and the brain freezes. I can't see a thing in there. Smell it. No, I thought you were doing all the scouting today, Vic. Damn it, blood. Don't give me a hard time. Smell it. It's clean. have to cut her. She could have been used two or three more times. Uh, war is hell. All right, run it again. <laughs> you're so funny when you're sexually frustrated. Now, I'm funny enough to kick you upside the butt. I said fine and I ain't kidding. One does not say ain't, Albert. Simply say I'm not kidding. Fine, dog meat. And stop calling me Albert. Oh, you would stone a poor defenseless animal, wouldn't you? Yes, I can tell that you would. I can tell by your short breath and your disgusting, aggressive behavior that you would. <laughs> and that's because you're not a nice person, Albert. You're not a nice person at all. I gawk at you when you're working. I'll locate a female if there is one. You go look for food.
detect no living female person within my range, sir. I have sniffed and I have cast and I have a negative reading. However, I'd be delighted to tell you a suggestive story if you think that would help. Pass, fuzzy butt. <laughs> A cautious young fellow named Lodge had seat belts installed in his Dodge. When his date was strapped in, he committed a sin without even leaving the garage. <laughs> That's clever, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. From March 1953... Did you... No, Albert, you have all the cranial capacity of a canary. Now, I'm going to recount these events of historical significance once again. Now, please, please try to assimilate them this time. World War III, hot and cold, lasted from June 1950 to March 1983, when the Vatican Armistice was signed between the Eastern and Western blocks a total of 33 years. Uh, is this too fast for you? No, I'm right with you. Oh, good. Now, World War IV lasted five days, just long enough for the final missiles to leave their silos on both sides. And what's left here where once were homes and families and warm hearths? Come on, Pete. Get off my back, you mad dog. <laughs> no. Only desolation, civilization, lies smothered and decaying under an ocean of mud belonging to anyone who's strong enough to dig and fight and take it for his own. God, that's dramatic. I like that. So, spread about us, the city of Phoenix, Arizona, where in 2006, 18 odd years ago, you managed to come into the world and we became associates. Now, let's hear that back. Good to all this history crap gonna do me. Just do the presidents. Oh, God. Eisenhower, Truman, Truman, Eisenhower. Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy. Continued narrow-minded refusal to believe in over the hill is possibly costing us a better life, you know. Over the hill, my ass. Well, when do we start looking for it again? As soon as I get my heart started. I mean, let's stop I know what you mean, and... over the hill where the deer and the antelope play, and it's warm and clean, and we can relax and have fun. And then they grow food right out of the ground. How do you like that pipe dream? It's called farming. Oh, I believe you. And they also have a great crop of clothes and guns and gorgeous chicks and now tell me how you saw the whole wonderful thing with your baby blues never said i saw it i said i heard about it and from who from whom and you know from whom and whom the hell's gonna believe a police dog i'm sorry blood i believe you about over the hill hell i believe anything you tell me and even if we don't know for sure, it's worth checking on, right? Right? Whatever you say. And we will go, just like I promised. Right now, I'm hungry and I want to get laid. So find me abroad and we'll go to the promised land. That's what you always say. I know, I know, but I mean it this time. Find me a chick and we'll go. I'm hungry. So am I. Well, I'll tell you what, you go find a chick and I'll hustle us up some food. I'm hungry. You already said that, goddammit, and I just said... I can't do good work when I'm hungry. You ain't pulling that crap on me again. And you can shove that part about how you lost the ability to hunt for food when you learned how to talk. Oh, hell, all you're good for is finding hard, stringy scumbags that are just liable to cut off my goddamn... No food, no females. Okay, you just sit there on your fuzzy butt while I do all the goddamn work. 
But I'll tell you one goddamn thing, you better do some practicing. It's been six weeks since I've been late, and it sure as hell ain't been that long since you ate. But I got it damn well maybe if you don't start producing me. Something special. You got the whole bunch. You get up, get in that hole. Get up, and... yeah. You get yourself up, yeah. Or you ain't never gonna get up. I wonder why they hang around him. <laughs> Probably just charisma. Stay there! Come back 
any time, though. <laughs> Thank you, suckers. That's our boy. Put out the cheese. What do you want to do tonight? Oh, it doesn't really matter to me. Whatever you'd like to do, I'll, um, make... Well, now that we're loaded, I guess we could hit the turf. Uh. Yes, we could do that. Well, if you'd rather not... No, 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 that'd be fine. Uh, we could probably even afford a little <laughs> pop popcorn. Water there. They're getting wet there. Move them over. It goes to rust fast. Move on along. Listen, you might grab and told you move my stuff over. Move his heat. We don't want no trouble tonight. Except one rust spot. You're gonna wake up with a crowd around you. Sardines. What about the mutt? He ain't no mutt. You want to see the movies or don't you? Peaches. How the hell am I supposed to know that? You can read, can't you? Beaches for the dog. Eh, beats are better for him anyway. I want popcorn. Uh, you said we'd get some. Come on, Albert, buy me some popcorn. I'm happy to live without it. Oh, you're just being an ass. Well, you remember that next time you want to call me Albert. I hope the next time you play with yourself, you go blind. Get your ass over there. I want to sit there. How can you enjoy a show with a popcorn? Watch the master at work. Charity is a 
thing of the past. Hey, Mark, you got a grease rag handy? Sucker ought to kick your tail up around your ears. You expect me to believe that you can whip her and there ain't no other dog in the whole joint that's caught her yet? Oh, you forget my infallibility, Albert. That's foolish. No, I didn't forget. I just don't believe it. Where is she? Knock it off! How the hell can I see the picture? Get him out of here! Take that dog on him! Okay, all right, I was dumb. You taught me all I know. I believe everything you say. Her was it? Come on, she might get away. I'll buy you the popcorn. You're a brain with an educated nose and there's no other canine in your class. She's dressed like a solo wearing a knit cap.
way'd she go? To the right. Come on. That's it for tonight. Shut her down. Stupid broad. She's in there where the screamers hold up. They're not in there now. She's alone. Screamers. Damn it. How in the hell am I gonna nail her in there? Simple. Stop shaking like a leaf and go do it. there and I'll shoot your leg right out from under you. And you'll still get it, except you'll be without a leg.
what are you looking at? What's your name? Vic. Vic what? Just Vic. Well, then what are your mother's and father's names? Boy, are you a dumb broad. I told you to stop looking at me like that or I'll bust your teeth out. Now get that stuff off. What's your name? Quilla June Holmes. It's a weird name. It's not. My mother says it's not that unusual back in Oklahoma. Know where your folks come from? Before the war. You must be pretty old by now. They are, but they're okay, I guess. Better. Now what? Rover pack, 23 strong. We got the building surrounded. Great. Some other mutt must have smelled her in the theater. Who are you talking to? Him. The dog? Give him the girl. We dig in and stand him off. They don't know about us. Just give him the girl. Let's get out of here. We stay. Now, you got any helpful suggestions? Yes, pull up your pants, Romeo. Now, would you listen to reason? There's too many of them for us. You're gonna get us all shot up. You damn fool. One way out of here. Boxed in, that's no good. Uh, out there in the big room, Hello, that's the place. Hello. What? Oh, Jesus. They'll probably come down What's the ladder. Did you talk to strangers? Clear, shut up, will you? I can see you're gonna be Do a great help. Now, if we can get one down, it's take his okay. heat, and I'd give up a little... Shut up! Somebody's gotta keep an eye open. Right. We're up against, aren't they? You were right. Let's set up for him. And I'm right about this simpering female. Forget that. Now, how do you figure the fight? Go on, we'll back you.
good or bad first? Bad. All right, they didn't come down the ladder as I anticipated, and since they found other ways in, we've lost the element of surprise. There's no way we can handle them. And the good? Let the seven dwarfs have Snow White, and we can get out of here with all our parts. Over my dead body. They're working on that right now. do. 
tell when they leave? Yes, I'll be able to tell. If they leave. Just take it easy. Everything's gonna be all right. It is if we don't get choked off in here. Can you handle it? Oh, yes, Massa Vic. I can handle it. is an ugly thing. It's long enough for the final missiles to leave their silos on both sides. Let's see. That was in 2006. 2007. Uh, 2007. It only lasted five days. You're awfully smart to know all that history. <laughs> well, blood helps. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever been down under? Nope. Why? Very nice. I heard how nice. From a solo rated one. Well, it's very nice and you'd like it. Bullshit. That's very crude. I'm very crude. Not all the time. Listen, ass. I grabbed you and I drug you down here. So what's so good about me? I didn't mind. I liked it. You want to do it again? Well, I've never seen no, no chick like you before. Hey, I'm the, I'm the one that's supposed to want to do it. Once more into the breach, dear friend. Something that connects copulate from the Latin copulatus to engage in. Honey, it's good to just watch you. Where your waist falls in, your hips on. Have you right in my hands? Just want to talk. I'm not going to keep pretending I am asleep, Albert. Oh, boy. 
you're a bloody mess. Well, you're not exactly a rose garden yourself. Can we get out of here yet? It seems clear. I'd better go have a look. You think you can, you think you can handle it in your condition? <laughs> can I handle it in my condition? <laughs> I can handle several hours on the rack to extricate myself from this disgusting display. Blood. No, no sacrifice is too great. No, I throw myself hey. gladly into the very jaws of the screen death. <laughs> I don't think he likes me very much. Blood? Yeah. Oh, he, he just feels bad. He likes you a lot. He told me so. He did really? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Because I, I think he's cute. How do I do it? What? Talk to him. I don't know. We never thought about it. Just talk. Well, how come I can't hear him? Oh, he said something one time. Because we had a feeling for each other or something. What do you mean, like love? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> said we thought alike. <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway. We'll get a nice little place. And we'll spend a lot of time together alone. And we'll do whatever we feel like doing. And when Blood comes to visit, he can have his own room. What are you talking about? Well, I don't exactly think he's going to fit in down under. No way. I know. That's what I said. No, I mean, no way I'm going down there. I'm going to be there. No, you're not. We'll make it up here, the three of us. Vic, now I live there. If you love me... Then... I don't care! Come out of here right now. Vic, we need to talk. Uh... Well, what the hell's lumbering you? Your headlong... Plunge into stupidity. Last night was inexcusable. Leaving it for the pack, that would have been an intelligent thing to do. I wanted her. Yeah, I know you wanted her about a half a hundred times. So why are we still hanging around? <laughs> I want her some more. Well, listen, my friend, I want to get rid of this pain in my side, and I want to get away from here. The screamers could come back any time, you know. Oh, what the hell are you worried about that for? We can handle all that. That don't mean she can't go with us. Go with us? Are you out of your small mind? What good is she? It's all we can do to feed ourselves as it is. You know you're starting to sound like a goddamn poodle. You're starting to sound like a jackass. Sorry. Blood, come on. Hey, Ian. He'll still be 50 50 with you and me. I mean, hell, I owe you. Don't try that hackneyed ruse on me. Oh, come on. I, I just meant like that time that that old screamer made a grab for me. You know, that righteous stone green he was, too. All glowing like a fungus and oozing and eyelashes. Boy. Made a grab for me and you went for him. Could have been burned bad, too. I'll tell you that. And died. That would have been all of it for you. Right? I'll get the dramatic catch out of your voice and tell me how she's going to carry her share of the load up here. Tell me how we're going to fight All right, up. okay, okay. Just don't hang her. Harangue, not hang her. I don't care whatever the hell it is. You just knock off the crap and we can forget the whole stinking... Well, her. maybe we should, you simple dumb putz. What the hell's a putz? What's a putz? Is that something bad? I bet it is. It's something bad. You, boy, I'll tell you, you better watch your stinking mouth or I'm going to kick you in the butt. Help 
mean she can't go with us. <laughs> I told you she was no good. Okay, okay. I just don't like being made to feel guilty. I'm gonna do right by you. I'd hardly recommend that, considering there's several very knowledgeable solos around town who'd be delighted to work with an accomplished female provider like myself. I also don't like being threatened. It's not a threat, that's a fact. No, that's a good way to get that other leg broke. Don't take your petty frustrations out of me, Albert. I locate females, I don't guarantee their behavior. The hell's that? How should I know? Well, smell it. Well, it's probably an ID of some kind she used to get out of the down under. Oh, now we're in a big hurry, huh? Now, you, you'd listen to me last night instead of... Wait a minute. You're not thinking of following that... You, you listen to me, Albert. You'll get killed out there. Albert! Albert, you come back here. You idiot, you can't go down there. You listen to me. Just because some sleazy female knocked you in the hip and bruised your ego, there's no reason to become a careless juvenile. You stop this instant, Albert. Dick! Egg sucker. Oh, all right. Dick, please stop. Please stop a minute, please. I don't know what to say now, how to make you understand that you're not, you're not thinking clearly. You can't go down there and, and, and ever hope to come back. And she knows it. Down under hate solos. Enough rover packs have raided down there and raped their women and stolen their food. And they'll have the defenses up and they'll catch you and they'll kill what you. What the hell do you care? You're always saying you'd be better off without me anyway. Oh, forget about her, Vic. Let her go. Let's, let's look for over the hill. Or if you're tired of me... Find it. Find another partner somewhere, but whatever you do, don't follow her down there. I got to, blood. I got to. Hasn't it occurred to you how convenient this whole operation has been? How easy she was to spot and follow and how she cooperated? Just think about it, Vic. Instead of walking right into their hands, God knows what they'll do with you. been together a long time, good and bad, but this could be the worst. I'm scared. I'm scared you won't come back and I'll have to find some rover to take me on. And you, you know most rovers are in packs now and I, I'm not that young anymore. And I'll miss you, big. Really miss you. Well, I'll try to get back as quick as I can. Will you wait? For a while, then over the hill. yourself. Do my best. I'll catch up with you. Sure.
the committee's presentation of sound tours into the past. Today, Chapter 3, Africa, the Dark Continent. Tomorrow, Chapter 4, Alaska. the year of our Lord, what ought three, all preserved peaches, be they cans and or jars, shall bear her likeness and the inscription, Topeka Queen. Michael, green reference, hydroponic laboratory, number 173, Danny and Gurdon, Magranat, saturation of nutrient solution, repeat, green reference. That's the architects could do. Pencil. Why are they here? Lack of respect, wrong attitude, failure to obey authority. Lectures? Three. Cut and dry, then. I say so. That'll do it. Fanny and Jordan McBurnett. Any reason to be easy? No, when we uh, put this in, see, then we'll add that. We find it almost impossible to believe that you have ignored several warnings by us to conform to the rules that are vital to the continued growth and well-being of our beloved Topeka, but you did. <coughs> Defiance of this committee, duly elected and ordained by the people, will not be tolerated the farm, both of them. 
Now, how'd the last farms go, Miss? Uh, cancer, I think. No, no, no. Let me see. I have it down here. Let's see. Oh, no, it was an accident with farm machinery. That's what it was. Larry and Linda Lacey, March 17 of this year. Let's make these, uh, heart attacks. <laughs> yeah, uh, wreath from the committee. Doc will do the eulogy. Services at Lakeside Methodist, the usual. And may God have mercy on your soul. Outside show. Now that's the way to build a cotton gin. Another helpful... Well, a you. Honey! Oh, come to Papa. Oh. Ah, sure is pleasing to see you back home again. Mm -hmm. Didn't have any trouble, huh? Everything went all right to have any trouble, huh? No, sir. Oh, that's fine, fine. Sure did yourself proud, Missy. The committee won't forget it, no siree. That all be put on the committee right away, like we talked about. Hmm, don't you worry about it, little girl. Soon as there's an open. Mr. Craddock, I would prefer not to wait. After all, I did bring Vic down here exactly like you told me to. Now you just be patient, Quilla Jew. Have fun with young folks your own age. Think about getting married, making a home. Your time will come. I'd rather be just like you, Miss Miss, and not wait. Nah, don't you worry, little girl. I don't see why you just... That'll be all. That'll be all. That young lady is going to be trouble. Always has been. <clears throat> Any reason for a change? Maybe you should have gone to three. A uh, little uh, childish plotting doesn't bother me none. As long as it stays little. Mez, uh, see that she's one of the recipients. Then marry her off to Hireman and his boy. What's his name? Charles. Charlie, yeah. That don't cool her ambitions. Farm her out. Horse manure. They knew I wanted on that committee. Stupid, stinking old rotter, Lou. A liar will not be believed. I am bristling. Another helper helped for the That is the only reason I went along with their dumb plan. Promised. Capable not only of feeding its own hard work. They hinted. Then they tried to shoot me off without a body. At least I pushed. Well, you shouldn't have. I mean, they're going to be watching us now. Gary, I don't care. I am so sick and tired. The farm. Who accepted our Christian desire to aid our brothers across the seas. You're right. I do care. Okay. I'm going to smile, and I'm going to curtsy the right time to all the right people, because it ain't going to be much longer. The Song of David will not wait, even for you, Quilla June Holmes. That is your class. Ah, uh, yes, Mrs. Kamek. <laughs> oh, pigeon fear. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll be right there, ma'am. See you later. He and Vic were in the park together. I, I turned my back for just. Oh. What'd you and Vic talk about? Come on, we want to know. Well, Lou. Hmm. to find out anyway, so why don't you just tell us and it'll make it easier on all of us, huh? What do you say, huh? How about it, boy? The 
farm immediately. Grandmother Conrad's recipe for rhubarb marmalade. Let me go! Orange. Uh, and lemon juice. Uh, in an enamel, what did the exam show? Well, the usual cold virus. A little high blood pressure to be expected under these conditions. Uh, it's no infection. He's, uh, well developed, reasonably well nourished. Intelligent average, emotional response is simplistic. Most marked finding is his overtly aggressive behavior. In other words, he's extremely physical, uh, as you may have noticed. <laughs> well, now, son. Suck wind, wet brain. Better be nice, boy. I hope all you stinking kids are hair lit. Michael? All right. Ready to behave yourself. Along with uh, many other uh, organisms that somehow managed to stay alive up above, you have been studied, observed, unobtrusively, of course, uh, living habits, common sense, tenacity, physical prowess. Out of the many, you have been chosen. Led down here by Quilla June. To be the recipient of an honor. You know, she's a scumbag! You watch your foul mouth, boy. When anybody on the committee speaks, you just keep still and listen. Hey, how'd you like to have a rifle rammed up your butt? Michael! All right! All right! You show respect, boy. So I was saying, to be the recipient of an honor that occurs but once in several decades. That mess, uh, let me have the original elder's proclamation, will you? Fruit of your loins will enable the productive citizenry of Topeka to overcome metabolic changes resulting from lengthy subterranean living, allow it to keep its leadership and the drive to remake this sinful world in God's own image. You see, we've been underground too long. Our women can't get pregnant every once in a while. We need new blood. We need a new man. We are never so happy, nor so new unhappy, man. as we imagine. Another helpful hint for living from the committee's... Special dominant. kind of man. <laughs> you mean you want me to knock up your broad? <laughs> you talked me into it. Line them up. You first, honey. Take your hands off me. <laughs> Guide them together, we beseech thee, in the way of righteousness and peace, that loving and serving thee with one heart and mind all the days of their life, they may be abundantly enriched with the tokens of thy everlasting favor. Amen. By authority vested in me by the committee, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife according to the ordinances and the laws of the state of Topeka. What God has joined together, let no man put us on. Amen. A man should never be ashamed to own he has been in the wrong. Mm -hmm. Which is but saying that he is wiser today than he was yesterday. Another helpful hint for living from the committee's almanac. Miss, you would have a little something to help well you through. And be sure to get both parents to sign right here. Now let's see, Brother Hess. Michael, Amber Reference. Air intake fan number 12, shaft 17B, indicates heat buildup. Repeat, Amber Reference. Chapter 1, verse 22, Mayor. God bless them and said, be fruitful and multiply. God bless them. That's the key.
You almost ask yourself out of this honor, young lady. Sir? The committee. Oh, well, I'm sure the committee knows best. Where are your parents? Uh, Miss Miss uh, said it would be all right. Uh, they must have come down with something because they're sure not feeling well. Shall we keep the schedule? Dearly beloved. Uh, brother, here, get... Dearly beloved, we are gathered here this evening. Because I'm so sorry, are you all right? He made me do it. You gotta understand, they made me do it. I'm sorry. Give me that I'm sorry bullshit. You're as crazy as the rest of these damn nuts. Stupid voice. Down! Maybe stupid, but they're not dumb like you. Oh, no. They bring me down here to make babies and then... Hook me up with a stupid machine. That's real smart. Population control. In case you haven't heard of it, thirty-five girls are pregnant, and then you're killed. You understand? You're idiots like you running around the place. So you wiggled your little butt and teased me down here to their big wealth. I had to. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. Listen, next. Next, please. Alright, ladies. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. There's another thing I want you to make very sure of on this most solemn and joyous... I'm going to run to Pika. <laughs> you and me, maybe some others, we'll be the committee. We'll do anything we want, any time we want. We'll have them bow and scrape for a change. Just by Spring and me? Yeah. I'm getting rid of the committee. Where's my heat? Huh? My guns. Where's my guns? In the committee office. How you got it figured? Okay. Right out this door to the right is Michael. There's a crowd there. We run through the crowd. Oh, come on, glue. All right, to the right again. Big doors. Through the doors, we have help outside. Straightforward fight with some son of a bitch over a can of beans. I gotta get back in the dirt so I feel clean. Wait a minute. Help me you put us out in the open. You gotta help us. Good luck, Six, baby. Please. You dirty, filthy, thinking rotten animal. You stupid animal. You think I let you slobber all over me and paw me so that you could walk out now? I didn't bring you down here so they could use you. I brought you down here so I could use you. And you better kill them, then I don't care what you do. Staying down here and running the committee. Add the corn beans. There they are. The Tell me they can everything down here for hours. Two tablespoons of chopped parsley, parsley, parsley and, and green. And green. Mix together gently. Plenty of food, food, food to kick around. We can do whatever we please. And add salt and Kill freshly ground pepper to take. Kill him, Vic. Committee. Committee. Do 
poet. The committee, the committee sitting in extraordinary, extraordinary session. session. 11.37 a.m. July 4, year of our Lord, one ought three all present. Bestow upon the committee thy servants of the seal, thine approval, and thy fatherly benediction, granting unto them grace to fulfill with pure and steadfast affection the ordinances and the laws of the state of Amen. 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 You have ignored several warnings by by us as the foreign world rules that are vital to the continued growth and well-being of our beloved speaker. Bye. Elected and ordained by the people cannot be tolerated. Quilla June. Quilla June Hall. Number 2,644. Lack of respect, wrong attitude, failure to obey authority. How say you went and all? Aye. 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 The farm immediately. Gary. Gary Leroy Franklin, number 2,598. Lack of respect, wrong attitude, failure to obey authority. How say you went and all? Aye. 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 The farm immediately. Richard, Richard. Richard, 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 Rich
down there too long. Come on, please, let's go. Over the hill. That's where he went. And we need him. Well, let's catch up with him. I don't know where it is. We made it back. Who's your new tailor, Albert? <laughs> How long's it been since you ate? Well, I grabbed a lizard yesterday. Maybe it was the day before. I can't seem to remember it. <laughs> Funny. Well, we gotta leg it into town and get you something to eat fast. She loved me. Well, hell, it wasn't my fault she picked me to get all wet brain over. Well, I'd say she certainly had marvelous judgment, Albert, if not particularly good taste. <laughs> particularly good <laughs> taste. A boy in his dog can go walking A boy in his dog sometimes talk to each other A boy and a dog can be happy sitting out in the woods on a log But a dog knows his boy can go wrong 
and his dog can go fishing. A boy can teach a dog to bring a dish in when he's hungry. A boy and a dog can be happy sitting out in the woods on a log, but a dog knows his boy.